Welcome back, fellow collectors. Thank you for joining me and tuning into Diecast Emporium. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the two brand new coal planers by Diecast Masters in 1 to 50 scale. They are the Caterpillar PM622 and the Caterpillar PM822. Essentially, these models are exactly the same thing. They have the same detail, the same functions, the same features. The only thing that they, the only thing to differentiate the two is that uh, the logos are different. So, for example, the 622 will say PM622, and this one will say PM822. In terms of the track size, the frame size, the milling drum size, the conveyor size, all that stuff is the same casting. So, really, pick your poison. Do you like the 622 or you like the 822? So, that out of the way. I like to kind of give a even review on these models. So, let's first get off a couple of the negative things that this model has, and then we'll get into the many positive features that it does have. First big negative, personally, that I don't like very much, is that Bob, as you can see, our uh, very friendly family operator there, comes fixed in position to this Diecast Masters model. Now that's usually not been the case with their newer releases. I can only guess as to why it is the case on this, presumably because the operator is in a standing position, whereas he's normally in a seated position. Uh, of course, you can always get around this. If you don't care about the uh, lasting value of your model, you can take a pair of pliers, uh, pliers to it and forcibly remove him, although I usually like to discourage that. Uh, but that option is there for you. Uh, also, the track frames right here, unlike some other cold planer models in 1 to 50 scale, are not height adjustable, so that really kind of stinks a lot. So you're kind of stuck in one position. With the two negatives out of the way, let's get into the many positives. Positive number one, it's been forever since there's been a cat cold planer model released. I think back in 2010, 2011, Norscott released one. These two are big time upgrades from those. So first thing we'll do on the details and features, obviously is it is a tracked machine. This comes with rubber tracks. The track frames are metal themselves. They will move. Underneath it here, you can see the tungsten carbide teeth on the milling drum, which have been replicated very nicely. And if you so desire, you can turn it with your finger. Also, the uh, platform itself is uh, adjustable, so you can lower it or raise it, depending on whether it's milling or in a uh, raised position. The tracks also do turn. You can have it in a crabbed position, or you can have it in a turning position. Or obviously you can have it straight. Towards the front of the machine where the conveyor belt is, unlike some coal planers, the belt is not movable by your finger. But honestly, I don't really care about that. It still looks pretty nice. And the, uh, the, the bolts and screws that hold the model together have been painted so they don't stand out and look annoying. So that's been done up very well. The conveyor does move to the left. Or to the right so you can pose it discharging into a dump truck at either angle or straight ahead in addition you can fold the front part down like that for a transport position and it folds back up with a satisfying lock and click to know that it's in position the top of the machine the engine housing does open so you can get a good view of the detail components inside which I think look fantastic and look great. Not only that, but the side access panel also opens as well, and you can get some more detail. Great job on Diecast Masters for implementing those. Okay, so I told you the drum housing does raise or lower. Basically, I had it in the lowered position there. I'll show you that again. You can see how it sits flat. And then when I put it back into frame, that's in the carried position. And you can actually see a little bit of the milling drum sticking out. On the back, nice mirror, nice beacon light, nice cat logo. Pretty simplistic, but looks fine. On this side, pretty much the same. And on the front of the conveyor on this side, you also have the top beacon light right here. So there is the PM822 
And again, I told you I would briefly show you that they are the exact same. Here is the 622. The only difference being, once again, the logo. Before I show you the boxes, one of the biggest pros for these models, and if you've collected cold planers for a while, or you've seen some of my other videos on them, surprisingly, one of the biggest issues with these models is that the gosh darn conveyor usually is not tall enough or high enough to pose discharging into an American style dump truck. I am happy to report that whether you have a Norscott, Diecast Masters, Conrad, Sword, WSI, the list goes on, dump trucks, it will easily discharge and pose very nicely and very realistic. If you want to get even more realistic, one of the tricks I, I did once a few years ago at a train show is I actually put a piece of tape from here to here, and I put um, some of the black ballast on top of that tape and glued it, so it actually looked like there was a, a small stream of aggregate or uh, ground-up milled material being discharged from the conveyor into the dump truck. So if you want to have a small little diorama display, it looks actually pretty good. Finally, let's get the boxes out of the way. Because these are Highline Series models, they don't come in boxes. They come in tins. Here is the top of the 822. Good picture. The side of the 822. And on the back, let me adjust the camera momentarily, bear with me. If you want to read about the specification details, please pause the video and you can read about the real machine's details. Okay, so there is the 822. That's item number 85588 for reference. And 85587 is its little brother, the 622. There's the top of that tin. side of it and finally once again back of it and the specifications will be different for the two okay so overall both of these models are exceptional it's so good to see diecast master seriously producing some newer paving models on that note you can expect to see some compactors and rollers released shortly here, within the next few months or so, before summer. So it'll be nice to add those additions to it. It's really up to you whether you want to pick up the 822 or the 622. Again, I can't emphasize enough. Don't waste your money on buying both of them unless you really, really want them. They are identical models, just the badging is a little different. They both have the same height for the conveyor. Everything is the same on them. But for under $90, it's a fantastic value. So if you're into milling machines, road construction machineries, cap machines, or 1-50 to 50 scale models... Definitely recommend picking them up. Check out the top of my page for the list of places where you can buy these models at. And until the next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon.